Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again, from my front seat. And here we are giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day. Well, today is Thursday. Today is July 6, 20 and 23. And here we are by the grace of God, giving God what all praise, honor, and glory for what you say, beloved, for this brand new day, because it did not have to be this way. Beloved, God blessed us. I've heard several people say in the past uh, that he blessed us to do what? To be on the wake up list. Amen. Beloved. And not only did he allow us to awaken, but he blessed us as Deacon Vernon Grace says with more than just a reasonable portion of health and strength. Yes, we've got a portion beloved but we have more than just a portion why because not only can we move our arms we can move our fingers beloved he has blessed us we are awake um many of us have driven miles to get someplace some of us have just gone from one room to the next beloved but he blessed us and although uh um maybe you're not up to doing what the next person is up to doing, beloved, but I submit to you what you are up to doing. There are others who wish they could. And so we just give God the glory. So it's Thursday. I'm in the workplace. Ooh. So now that we telecommute, um, we do two days in the office, three days from home. Well, the holiday fell on an office day. So they're like, uh, y'all need to make up that day. Come on in on Thursday. And so um, I'm here and I give God the glory. Uh, I'm in a new dress. Hey, God is so gracious. I tell you, um, uh, my niece, Veronica, she's like, auntie, I got some things for you. I want you to go through it first and take out what you would like and then you know give the rest to the church I was like okay and so my husband he's like um we're gonna do all this stuff you got stuff but whenever I keep something I give away two somethings mm -hmm. so and God is so gracious um because I'm not much of a shopper. And then I don't just have the resources to just go out and shop. And so he blesses me with beautiful things. And so he's Jehovah Jireh. He's our what? He is our provider. So I believe the verse yesterday, like on the phone app, was Matthew chapter 9, verse 38. And it says... Uh, Pray ye the Lord of the harvest. Some say, some translations, ask the Lord of the harvest. Um, beloved, the word of God lets us know that there's a great work to be done. The harvest is what? Plentiful. But the laborers are what? They're few. Remember the woman at the well. Once Jesus told her everything about her, the same woman who avoided the crowds the same woman who would go get her water late in the day so she wouldn't have to hear the gossip about her this same woman ran and told the people come see a man come see a man come see a man and the word of God there lets us know that there's a great work to be done look over there what what is that all them people in white what is that who all the people? What all people do here? That's what my nephew said when he was little. What all people do here? What are all those people doing over there? So those are the ones who did what? Those are the ones who came to Christ. Those are the ones who washed through. Those are the ones. But love and the word of God lets us know that there is a great work to be done. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Beloved. The laborers, those that work, there's a great work out there, but it's up to you and I to go and to spread the gospel. It's up to you and I to do what, as the lady says on social media, remember, shine for Jesus. Beloved, it's up to us for to shine for Jesus. Well, why me? Well, if not you, then who? 
who going to do it? If not you, then who? And then if you don't want to do it, make sure that you send those who can. Make sure that you support those who do. Make sure that, that, that you just make sure that everything is in place for the job to get done. Why? Because we are helpers one to another. Well, y'all know it's been a week in a day. Oh, that I've been intermittent fasting. Oh. Whew. Yep. So I don't have my two tacos and my cup of coffee. Because my window of eating is 11 until 7. But I do have me some coffee from my favorite restaurant, Jock in the Box. People are like, is that really your favorite restaurant? It really is. They've never disappointed me. <laughs> well, maybe the staff, not the food. I don't know. I love Jack in the Box. Now, there are places that I enjoy going to eat. I like a good steakhouse. I like a good lobster tail or, you know, crab leg, crawfish, hint, hint, anywho. But I love Jack in the Box. I get joy when I think about Jack in the Box. I get joy when I eat Jack in the Box. And one day I'm going to try Snoop's meal. But $14? I guess you got to be high. <laughs> Y'all know I love Snoop Doggy Dog, right? And one day I'm going to get the meal before it's... um before it's limited time is up. Anywho, uh, I'm going to sit here and in about 30 minutes, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to render unto Caesar those things which belong unto Caesar. And if it be the Lord's will, we'll meet again on when on tomorrow from where from my front seat. But we'll be working from home tomorrow. A double shift. So we'll have to see. But this your girl Sharon. I'm out y'all. Do says. Oh, and I'm going to get a feel. So we have a road trip coming up and I'm just trying to hold out to just get it so it'll just stay and be fresh when we anywho I'm out y'all deuces <laughs>